Hi, and welcome back to the third video in this series of creating our Google website. So now what we're going to do is create our About Me page. We want to begin on the home page, and we'd like to click the Edit Page button. So go ahead and click on the pencil button and it will open up your page where you can change the name from home to about me. That is one of the requirements in the rubric. The next thing that the rubric asks you to do and the directions on the website is that you should include a photo of yourself, contact information that's both personal and for the school you are teaching at, and a paragraph about yourself. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and insert a photo. So we go to insert, we choose image, and then I choose this image of myself in a former life. Now right down here in this text box, it's text box it asks you for alt text information. I suggest that you fill this out. This allows our learners that are um, deaf to be, that are blind, not deaf, uh, to be able to use their smart machines to hover over the image and it gives them a description. So I'm going to say picture of me and hit OK. The link comes in, the image comes in really large and so we have buttons here to change it from left, center, and right. Alignments, small, medium, large, and original. And I'm going to go with the medium size. Our next buttons allow us to do wrap on or wrap off. So the I'm going to choose wrap on because I like my image to wrap around my text or my text to wrap around my image. I'm actually going to change this to small. That image is too large for me. So the first thing I want to begin is by writing my name. And I want the doc to be bold and I want my name to be larger because I like my name so I'm gonna have it be larger and then I'm going to type in the address of the school well first I might want to begin with my personal information so I'm gonna say my phone number is 863-8587 and I would um, be leery about putting your real information on the on this classroom website just because it's not real. And so you can make up a number, this is my office number. And then I'm going to put in my address for UVU. And our building, I'm in 136C. And my email. If you type your email out, you highlight it, and then you click the link button, it will link it for you. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put Waters Academy and then I will put their contact information. And you can make up any of this information. So I might want that image bigger. Maybe I was wrong. Waters Avenue, we live in Orem, Utah, or I work in Orem, Utah, 84058. And then the phone number there. And so again, you can make this up. And now I'm ready for my paragraph. So insert your paragraph here. Include information about hobbies. Um, travel you enjoy, kids, experience. You can also insert information here, anything that lets them know a little bit about you. So what are the things you enjoy doing? Reading, watching movies, what type of movies do you want? You can even have a list of some of your favorite movies. Um, so it's just a little bit of a lens into you and what you are all about. So once you have this done, you are done with your About Me page. You are ready to save it. You will notice that it doesn't pop up over on the navigation bar, but we will work on that in a later video. And let's 
go on to our next video.